There was also the theory that you attracted more girls by being the quiet one, in the same sense that a guy at a party who sits in the corner uh, will have the girl come over and say, oh, what's the matter? It's you just, know, uh, This was not a calculated rumor. philosophy on your part. Was it? Just a rumor, yeah. Yeah. I think Paul used to get them all with his, you know. <laughs> and then it's a bit late. Now the whole point is to try and find it out at this age and then you've got your whole life to go and act upon it. I woke up, I just heard smashing of glass. I jumped up, I woke up George. It was about, must have been about 4.30 in the morning. And I said, somebody's smashed a window. And he said, how do you know? I said, I heard it. So he jumped up. We had a statue of St. Michael, and the wing from the statue of St. Michael was made of stone, had been thrown through the window. And George was on one side and I was on the other, and we looked down and this maniac just ran in like, a, like a Beelzebub. I mean, it got worse, it just got worse, because I hit the guy several times, you know, I could see the blood spreading down his blonde hair, and then he got up. You know, he got up and he chased me and had me around the neck and then George got up and jumped on his back and he'd already been stabbed. I had experience which um, speeds up the whole idea of, um, you know, if you have something happen to you physically then, you know, people can go in hospital or have a, you know, something wrong with them and, um, you know, have a shock or something like that, and then you think, wow, yeah, I could uh, be dying now. Now, if I was dying now, what would I think? What would I miss? Would I, if I had to leave my body, you know, in an hour's time, what is it that I would miss? And I think, well, i got a son who needs a father, so I have to stick around for him as long as I can, but... Um, other than that, I don't think it much reason to be here.
I'm not in a laughing mood even.